tucked away in the corner of Jeff Wade's fifth grade classroom at Northern Elementary School in Bemidji is an experiment. His class is the first one in Minnesota to participate in Trout in the Classroom, a project designed to raise trout from eggs to fingerlings. It's a cooperative venture between the Minnesota DNR, the Nielsen Foundation, and the Headwaters chapter of Trout Unlimited. The initial concept for this Trout in the Classroom uh, program was to allow a live release of the fry in the springtime into a local body of water, with the idea being that the children would then make a more direct connection with that body of water. Last December, about 500 lake trout eggs were acquired from the DNR. To mimic the cold water habitat the eggs originally came from, a special piece of equipment was purchased for the class aquarium. The main difference with, with raising trout is that you, that you need cold water. and So we have a, a chiller that the water cycles through and keeps that water at about 49 degrees. Tony Kennedy, DNR area fishery specialist, oversees the project with the help of others. We have to keep the water really clean. That's Tia Armstrong. She's one of the technicians responsible for looking after the trout. The students feed the fish and clean the tank. And merge the siphon into the water and make sure we have no air in it. Sometimes we get a trout in there. Of course they put them back. They measure the trout, noting every millimeter of growth. What they're also noting is that there are fewer fish each day. On this day, only about 175 are left. If one egg out of every 10 survives, how many will, we, will survive if there are 40 eggs? This lesson of life also provides a lesson in math. We're always looking for real data and relevant data, and so we've been able to use and, and graph the mortality rate, the average growth of the fish over a certain period of time. These tiny fish will be about two inches long by May when they're expected to be released, but they'll have to meet stringent guidelines if they're to be set free. We need a sample of about 60 fish to be tested for diseases. Uh, it's very important that we don't send a message of, of just stocking fish sort of willy-nilly. Mr. Wade hopes the lessons learned here will last a lifetime. I hope that the kids are getting the message that, you know what, you play an integral role in making these things available to yourself and future generations. I'm Denny Bear for the Minnesota DNR.